Hi, this is Data Psychoanalytics. My name is William. In today's session, we will learn how to make interactive Excel charts using drop down list, like what you can see on this screen here. When I select a given outlet, then you're able to see the performance for that particular outlet. We are going to be using Excel 2016 for this but the steps will be more or less similar when you use other versions of Excel. I invite you to go ahead and download the file that goes with this exercise or this video using the link I'll put at the description of this video below. So let's get started. So assuming you have summarized sales for various outlets and you wish to show the performance of each outlet as a line chart. We'll need to extract a subset of the data that we need to show on the chart or to plot. Initially, we need to first copy the list of months from January to December. We can paste this here. Then, once we have the list of months, we want to allow the user to select or to define which outlet they want to view performance for. So to do that, we will need to create a drop down list. So we make sure we've selected cell C12. That's why we want our outlet to be changed. Then go to data menu where there is data validation, choose data validation. Then from this dialog box, the data validation settings, change from allowing any value to be typed in this cell and change this to allow values from a list. Then from this source box, we want to choose any one of these outlets. So we select C4 to C7 and press OK. Now we have the option to choose which outlet we want to view performance for. Let's work with two rivers. All right. Now having created a pick list for outlets, it's now time to populate this section of our report with the corresponding numbers for this outlet. So to do that, we are going to use VLOOKUP we already know the lookup value is our selected outlet. Remember to lock the column here, don't lock the row. You can lock both. Then our table array will be this top table, our source data. You can select the entire table for now, let's just work with where our data sits. Which column number has January figures from the selected table here? So we count from where the outlets are. So it's column number one and January is there for column number two. We type two. Then we are doing an exact match of the word two rivers. That's our selected outlet. And then we close bracket and enter. And then once you to fill these values or this formula to the right, you can see we end up having a uniform or constant figure because at any one point, even for May, we still saying return, return the second column, which is not the case. So we need to find a way to make this column number to be two then three for February, four for March, and so forth. So we have the option to type manually these numbers up here. So two, three, all the way to 13. And therefore, if we come back to our VLOOKUP and change this number two here, to refer to this cell there, 
when we are to fill now you can see we have the corresponding numbers equivalent to what two rivers performance was now instead of typing these numbers here as this you could type them as a match function so i could say equals match and then our look of value what we know is the month name so we will match the month jan or january in this topmost row of our source table notice you have to select from the beginning since our vlookup started from the beginning let's lock that and we want an exact match like that and therefore you get a number two and when you to fill to the right you get similar numbers like what you had coded so when you see this number eight it means the positioning of the word july for instance in this topmost row now we can copy this formula remember to press escape once you copy like that then edit our vlookup and where we had this number two or d10 in this case that's our column index number we will delete that and paste our match function then out of field to the right and you can see we now have the numbers that we need for our chart so as these values change we would expect that our chart will change now to do the interactive chart now in excel we shall select this data set that's what we want to plot then go to insert menu look for these line charts and let's work with the first line with markers and you can see we have a chart already and as you change the outlet name you would expect that the chart updates as you can see on this screen so we've achieved our goal the final thing we would want to do here is to customize the look and feel of this chart for instance you can right click the line and choose to format data series this gives us the formatting options on the right side of our screen if you're using excel 2013 and above if you're using 2010 and below you will have a pop-up window but we'll have more or less same options so we'll do a solid line choose our preferred color we can increase its width then go to the markers where there is borders let's choose a solid line and maintain the same color we chose for our line then for the fill let's work with a white solid fill all right this is a matter of preference you can work with your preferred color i like white because it will uh, be complementing the blue color then you can increase the size of the built-in icon there to eight or nine or thereabout so we have a better chart there you can right click on the chart or the line itself again and choose add data labels so you can see against each data point we have the number or the equivalent number and upon formatting the data label we can choose to show them above our line we can make them same color with the line and make them bold and since now we have the data labels we can delete the vertical axis on the left we can also remove the grid lines or make their font color to be very faint you can format the title increase its size change its uh, color and so forth and finally you will end up with this chart where as you change the outlet then you have 
the users having the option to view for a given outlet. Now, in place of the drop down, you could use a slicer or a combo box form control that is available from the developer menu. You can work with this combo box, but we are not going to go into that for now. For now, I will invite you to go ahead and click the share buttons below. Remember also to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss on our videos. And before you leave, I have a book that I've created that will help you to sharpen your skills when it comes to creating charts. It's free for download. Check the download link on the video description below. We'll see you soon as you keep learning how to become better in Excel. Cheers.